Okay, in this video we want to make sure that uh, as an affiliate you're getting credited with uh, any new members that join Loris. So when you go into my affiliate program, go over to using the link. This will show you up here, this is your affiliate number uh, or your affiliate code. And down here it's just it's put in as a link to send people to our start page using your affiliate code. For instance, if they were just go to, to go to loris.com, this is what it would look like. They would go to our homepage and they've just typed in loris.com. By using the link uh, on your from your affiliate page, uh, this is what it looks like. It's it's loris.com, but then it has your code at the end. This ensures that when they sign up uh, as a member, uh, your affiliate code is attached to their membership, and you will get credit for it. So. Um, but let's say uh, you, you want to do something on your Twitter or Facebook or whatever and we have a blog entry um, like stop chasing e emails that you think this would be of interest to uh, people on your social media. What you'll notice up at the top here in the URL there once again there is no affiliate code so what you have to do is actually manually enter your affiliate code in and um, hit enter then just scroll down to the, the bottom of the page to where the social media buttons are and for instance if you want to put it into Twitter just click the Twitter button and it will do the short uh, URL which will include your um, uh, affiliate code so then when someone clicks that link they end up on that blog uh, posting with your affiliate code and when they go and sign up it ensures that you get credit for that so just make sure that you always have your affiliate code attached to the end of the URL if you're going to pass it on to uh, a prospective member. Thanks.